What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So, WrestleMania is over, but it, it's the excitement and the craziness is still going on. Apparently, WWE has officially been sold. It's so much crazy stuff going on all within the span of a few hours uh, after WrestleMania has ended. So, we're going to check this out by uh, WrestleMania. Uh, appreciate all love and support, man. Let's see what's going on here. I know you guys been hitting me up on Instagram and Twitter. I gotta see what's happening. What's going on, guys? It is WrestleMania here, back with some major news. Yeah. Join us now as we look at the wildest news stories and rumors you need to know, including a WWE has been sold. That's the UFC merger crazy. is set to take place. Vince McMahon is staying in power. Oh, man. Is Triple H out? Bobby Lashley is furious. Drew McIntyre confirmed his WWE exit and much more. Damn. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for daily wrestling videos and follow us on Facebook for exclusive lists. Also check out our new channel, WrestleMania Shorts and WrestleMania Hindi. And now let's hit the intro and get straight into our first story. Our first story that looks at breaking news as WWE has been officially sold. That's the crazy. UFC merger has been set. Our top story today looks at perhaps one of the biggest stories in wow. WWE history. Yeah, that's right. WWE has finally been sold. WWE confirmed this this morning and that the company has been sold to Endeavor and WWE will indeed merge with UFC to create a brand new publicly traded company. Wow. WWE's official press release on the sale reads, Endeavor Group Holdings Inc. and WWE Today announced that they have signed a definitive agreement to form a new publicly listed company consisting of two iconic complementary global sports and entertainment brands, UFC and what? WWE. Upon close, Endeavor will hold a 51% controlling interest in the new company and existing WWE shareholders will hold a 49% interest in the new company. Together, UFC and WWE will have a global reach, impressive scale, and omnichannel distribution. On a combined 2022 fiscal year end basis, UFC and WWE achieved a revenue of $2.4 billion and a 10% annual revenue growth rate since 2019. Yeah. Now, in relation to who will be in power following the merger, it's been confirmed that Vince McMahon will remain in his role as executive chairman of the board. The new company will be led by Emmanuel, Chief Executive Officer, who will also continue his role as Chief Executive Officer of Endeavor. McMahon, Executive Chairman of the Board, and Mark Shapiro, who mm. will be President and Chief Operating Officer of both Endeavor and the new company. Dana White will continue in his role as President of UFC, and Nick Khan will serve as President of WWE. The Board of Directors will consist of 11 members who will be appointed at a later date, six of whom will be appointed by Endeavor and five of whom by WWE. Wow. This is truly one of the biggest days in WWE history. And as always, we'll keep you posted on WrestleMania.co.uk on the latest developments. Uh, Next up, the... Wow. That's insane. That is insane. So it's official. UFC, WWE under one umbrella. And the thing is, the McMahons have definitely always been interested in the UFC and uh, MMA. So, I, it's that's insane. That's crazy. I don't even, I don't even know what the future holds for the company. What, what does this mean for WWE television? What does this mean for the product as a whole? What does this mean for Triple H? As head of creative, like, there's so many things that can possibly change here. Future WWE creative revealed. And now with Vince McMahon firmly placed as executive chairman of WWE, fans are no doubt concerned that McMahon will be more hands-on with WWE creative. Oh. McMahon addressed his status when it comes to creative involvement during an interview with CNBC. When asked if he'll be involved in the creative process, he stated yes and no. McMahon stated that he'll be involved at a higher level. <laughs> Not yes and no. <laughs> Yes and no, but yes, but no, but yes. <laughs> but not in the weeds, clearly meaning the day-to-day -day creative of WWE TV. In relation to Triple H, thankfully, it looks like the game will be remaining as chief content officer, and that's according to John Pollock on Twitter from Post Wrestling. Next up, Nick Khan wants Stephanie McMahon to return. 
Now, Stephanie McMahon took a step back from WWE a number of months ago, but this doesn't mean that the door isn't open for a potential return. WWE CEO Nick Khan during an interview at CNBC revealed that he would love Stephanie to return to the company. Stephanie is immensely popular backstage, so the idea of her returning to a backstage role would be universally welcomed. Next up, Roman Reigns' schedule update. This is wild, With bro. Roman Reigns retaining last night, there's been online discourse relating to his schedule. Some fans were speculating that Reigns will be working more on TV and house show dates, especially with him keeping a hold of both world titles. However, according to Dave Meltzer on the Wrestling Observer Radio, Reigns' schedule will be remaining a part-time one. Yep. This means limited TV appearances yep. and Reigns won't be working every pay-per-view. Nope. Just like we mentioned in our review of WrestleMania, those belts are again held hostage. No, nah, the belts are... No, the, I, this is this is why... And I, I probably will make a separate video on this. I, I, I do want to make a separate video talking about this. Uh, if you guys would be interested, the ramifications of... Roman Reigns still being the champ. The positives and the negatives and what could really mean, what it could mean going forward for, uh, you know, WWE as a whole. Um, there is some positives to him being champ and what they're trying to tell, storyline, and there are some negatives to still him being the champ. But I will definitely make that video if you guys want me to. But, yeah, his schedule wasn't about to increase. But yeah, he was going to definitely still be a part-timer. <laughs> like, come on now. So, it looks like WWE is once again without a full-time world champion nope. on both Raw and SmackDown. Next up, up, Bobby Lashley is furious. I heard about this. When Bobby Lashley's match with Bray Wyatt was pulled from WrestleMania 39, it was fully expected that Lashley would receive a replacement opponent for the show. However, this never materialized and Lashley was involved in a bizarre segment where he came on yeah. stage with the Andre the Giant Battle Royal and Trophy. Lashley pointless. is evidently angry with WWE's booking of him as following his lackluster segment, Lashley proceeded to like a number of tweets referencing this truly awful booking decision. Facts. This was one of the many puzzling decisions WWE has made during last night's show. They've also teased that LA Knight would have had a segment or match, but this wasn't even mentioned. Additionally, Nick Khan was outright declaring that WWE would have special surprises, but Shane McMahon wasn't exactly who fans had in mind. Next up to WWE. And then apparently he got injured. So, wishing him a speedy recovery. But it's like, bro, Shane, that should have been a spot for, like, L.A. Knight. We could have had a spot for Bobby. Definitely L.A. Knight, for sure. If L.A. Knight would have came out there, that crowd would have went crazy. Would have went crazy. Just to see him in some type of spot. The more things change, the more they stay the same. WWE stars ask for their release. The two stars, Jagger Reed and Rip Fallow, asked the release from WWE as per Fightful Select. Damn. The two stars were previously known collectively as Grizzled Young Vets have been involved in the Schism Stable on NXT TV. The two UK stars are incredibly talented and would be a great addition to the main roster, so it's a shame that they have a rather lackluster gimmick and a persona present. Next yeah. up, Drew McIntyre confirms his exit. One oh, of the most no. surprising stories of the weekend was the news relating to Drew McIntyre's WWE contract. Yeah, it really wasn't an April Fool's. This past weekend, it was reported that McIntyre's WWE deal is set to expire and that he and WWE have yet to reach terms when it comes to a new contract. With that being said, following his outstanding triple threat match last night, McIntyre took to Twitter to post three waving emojis, no. which seemed to imply that McIntyre could soon be leaving WWE. Naturally, no. McIntyre could be just trolling, but it does seem like an odd thing for the former yeah. WWE champion to tweet if he has re-signed with the company. Fans are also expecting that a heel turn could be on the horizon for McIntyre, which would certainly be welcomed, as McIntyre's babyface character has been a state of flux since losing to Roman Reigns last September. Mm -hmm. Next up, Asuka shoot. I hope, I hope that's not the case. I hope he does stay. Maybe he does have a character change. Um... I'm still one of those people that wish he would have got the WrestleMania moment he deserved when he beat Brock Lesnar. But at that time, COVID was a thing. So, but uh, yeah, um, I hope he doesn't leave. I, I really do hope he stays. Shoot on the WWE's women's division. One of the more surprising results from last night was Bianca Belair yeah. defeating Asuka. Very surprising. The majority of fans have predicted Asuka to win the Raw Women's title and following the match... Asuka took to Twitter and threatened to leave WWE and go back to Japan. A tweet read, I might as well go back to Japan, but I bet a lot of you guys, my friends, will miss me when I leave WWE. Now I need the power of your anger. 
Let's bring chaos to the boring women's division with me. Let's bring chaos to the women's division. Let's bring chaos to WWE. Whew. Now it seems like Asuka is starting a new storyline, so we'll have to pay attention to how this develops in the next coming weeks. And that's the thing. I I, I love Bianca. I still do think Asuka should have won, but it's like I don't know what you do with Bianca. I'm sure they're gonna have a rematch. And are you gonna give it to Asuka then? I think Asuka could have she could have won could have deserved that WrestleMania moment, in my personal opinion. You know, Bianca's had hers, and I'm not tripping that Bianca won it. But it's like, what are you gonna do next? She Bianca's in a situation like Roman Reigns. She's beating everybody. And the one person she hadn't really beaten like that is the champion for uh, SmackDown. She's SmackDown champion, like Rhea Ripley. So I don't, I don't fucking know. I don't know. Next up, Charlotte Flair leaving. One oh of the most boy. acclaimed matches on the entire WrestleMania 39 Great weekend match. was Charlotte Flair's match with Rhea Ripley. Fantastic Whilst match. the build to the match was criticized, the match itself made more than up for it, as it was truly one of the greatest women's matches in WWE so history. So good, so good. Where some fans would no doubt like to see the feud between the two talented women continue, a new report from Fightful seems to suggest that Flair will be taking a break. Oh. Additionally, it's been reported that Flair is looking to start work on a new project, so she's clearly looking to expand her brand outside of the school squared circle. Oh. This project could potentially relate to bodybuilding as Dave Meltzer on Wrestling Observer Radio stated that Flair will be competing in a bodybuilding competition this summer. Next up, oh, Shane yeah. McMahon's injury revealed. Shane McMahon getting injured within seconds of his match with The Miz was truly shocking. This yeah. was a confusing match as everyone was just trying to work out if this was a storyline. Yeah. It turns out that Shane was legit injured and his injury is incredibly serious. According to Triple H, during the post-WrestleMania 39 press conference, Shane tore his quad. Damn. This is the same injury that the game has suffered twice. Uh -huh. And Shane's father, Vince McMahon, notoriously suffered at the 2005 mm -hmm. Royal Rumble. We wish Shane a speedy recovery. Of course. Next up, first Backlash match revealed. A WWE's next premium live event offering will be Backlash from Puerto Rico. And one of the matches that could potentially go down is Bad Bunny taking on The Miz. While speaking to WrestlingNews.co Steve Fall, Miz revealed that he wants to face the music star at Backlash and even called it a dream match. <laughs> we know that Bunny will be involved at the event itself, but it remains unclear if he'll be wrestling. And finally, Seth Rollins pushed. I would think, you know what I'm saying? I would think that maybe they do something with uh, Judgment Day, obviously, because he got involved in the match. So logically, you would think that would be the match that they go with. So I don't know. We'll see. Pushing for Logan Paul to re sign. A final story today looks at how former WWE champion Seth Rollins is pushing for Logan Paul to re-sign with WWE. Seth Rollins' match with Logan Paul was one of the standout matches of it WrestleMania 39 good. weekend. Rollins in the build-up to the match with Logan revealed that he didn't respect or like Logan, but now Rollins is pushing for him to re-sign with WWE. During a WWE digital interview following his WrestleMania match, Rollins will reveal that Logan is discussing contract negotiations with WWE, and he stated that it would be stupid for WWE not to re-sign him. Oh, man, I'm going to be honest with you. The kid proves something to me. Mm -hmm. I'm getting an exclusive. I'll tell you, I don't always agree with everything that he does, but he's got something. Mm -hmm. He's got something. The kid took me out there tonight, surprised me more than once, and he's got mm -hmm. a hell of a right hand. I know that there's been talk about his contract with WWE. He said that they'd be stupid if they didn't re-sign him. And I'm going to say, I might agree with that. What do you guys think? Should Logan Paul re-sign? Oh, of course. Well, that's the one thing you got to be objective here. You may not like the guy, but the, the, come on, bro. The guy has not missed every single match he's had. He has put on every single one. And yes, the sample size is small. So you want to see potentially more. And that's that's what I'm saying. Extend the contract, see what they can do, get them in some, some good programs, good situations, and see where it goes. Because at this point, if you're saying Logan Paul is going to have a match, people are going to want to check it out because they know he's going to do what he's going to show out. So, but hey, man, this, this has just been a crazy day for wrestling, man. What y'all think about the whole situation with WWE and UFC merger? And how do y'all feel about it? Do you think the product will be better or worse for it? How do you guys feel about um, uh, Oscar's tweets? You know what I'm saying? Or And how do y'all feel about maybe a, um, Drew McIntyre potentially leaving? Like, give me your thoughts and opinions on this on this crazy news day for wrestling. But I appreciate all the love and support. Road to 150K. I'm still getting speedy. YouTube, Wrestling Champ of the World. Appreciate y'all keeping with me. See you on the next one. Peace.